he wasn't biased at all. Most people think he would be, but ultimately he just wanted what was best for me, and he wanted me to be happy, which is you know how you want would want any father to be. So my sister, like I said, she's at Alabama. I didn't know exactly where to go, and he was supportive. Him and my mother, my mother went here as well. They just made sure you know I was happy. I got to visit wherever I wanted to, and you know ultimately it came down to Tennessee and Alabama, and I chose Tennessee. I thought to myself it would be great, you know, to play behind my brother and. Uh, no, I kind of stayed open to the decision coming here, but um, eventually made my choice, and I'm here. He's a football coach himself, so him, as far as recruiting goes, he just he just wanted me to do what was best for me, and I felt that Tennessee was the best thing for me. Uh, I enjoyed the school. I enjoyed Coach Jones. I enjoyed being a part of this family. Uh, yeah, I talked to Eric uh, well, really before I came here, and he just gave me the basics of college, um, you know, keeping up with your schoolwork. Uh, staying on top of your plays and and really just you know being smart because it's the real world now and you just have to be smart and make smart decisions. When I was in sixth grade, I actually stayed up here on my spring break with my brother, so that was kind of cool. Uh, I went to class with him, went to practice with him. I mean, it's everything. The story that sticks out the most was the Alabama story when he ran the punt back and led to them led to them scoring and winning the game. That's the most memorable memorable moment. Uh, my father showed me. He used to show me like old film and stuff, but really, he just he just uh, you know just told me about Tennessee and just from him talking about it as a young shot, I just grew into the to the power team. You know, they've really never pressured me into anything Tennessee football. I remember uh, growing up in Florida since I was eight. We had a hurricane one year and we evacuated and had to come to Tennessee to visit family. And we went to a game against UNLV. I can't remember what year it was. Um, but really, that was the first time I've ever been in Nailing Stadium, you know, looking around everybody, wow, this is the biggest stadium I've ever been in. And, you know, just walking around the you know, stadium and the campus, seeing my dad's name everywhere, you know, it kind of stuck in my mind that this is something that I want to do and this is somewhere that I've kind of fell in love with. It means a lot, you know, just knowing that, you know, we're, we're keeping our tradition going. That's, that's the main thing and the tradition of the program as well. And we're trying to get Tennessee football back to where it was. And I feel like that our class can help do that with, along with the other players that we have here. Just watching, when I started to get into sports, all I knew was Tennessee because that's when my dad, I seen pictures of him wearing a power tee on his helmet, so that's what I saw. So when I would turn the game on and see uh, guys like Leonard Little, guys out there playing football, that's what I watched. I don't really uh, experience any pressure. I mean, my dad told me that I'm, I'm the only person that can put pressure on myself. So, I mean, it's just playing football, doing what I love. So the last name, name doesn't really put pressure on me. I mean, just football.